Kyle Williams from the 20 yard line, straight ahead to the 25, goes down, stripped to the ball, stripped to the ball, the New York Giants have it. Now they stare at the Super Bowl. Had an entirely new coaching staff. We didn't really know how the players in the coaching staff was going to jail or the front office. I don't think anybody that year going into it had the type of expectations like we were going to go to the NFC Championship and be contending for a Super Bowl. Right around the middle of the season, you know, it really started to get packed at Candlestick and it just gave us more momentum as it, the season went longer and in, into the playoffs where eventually uh, we'll talk about the, the game against the Giants. Yeah. Giants win. Giants win. This is the only time you don't want to hear that phrase in San Francisco. You know, if Kyle Williams doesn't fumble that punt and we go down and score some points or even stop him on defense or get a turnover to give our offense a short field, you know, maybe we could have went on and won that championship that year. So at the end of the day, you know, we just had mishaps on the special team side that we just couldn't overcome offensively and defensively, which eventually led to the loss and a possible rain that could have happened, you know, because we definitely would have played the Patriots. You hate to be, you know, the last guy to have the ball and uh, to give it up that way in that fashion and to lose with, uh, you know, a game of this magnitude, but, you know, it is what it is and, you know, we're going to move forward as a team and everybody in here is coming to my back and, and kind of got me and patted me on the shoulder and said, it's not on you, so just couldn't be happier with the teammates that I have in here. One play never loses the game. Yeah, and, you know, Jim Lowe, that was the thing that guys in the locker room were talking about. They were, they, were, they felt bad that it, it's all going to be blamed on Kyle Williams and the two muff punts. It's tough. I remember uh, on Twitter, some people were like at me because they thought I was him and stuff like that, and I was just getting a lot of hash. No fans very disappointed, but some of Williams' teammates stepping up and getting his back, Anthony Davis on Twitter, and he's pretty expressive here. Half you people talking expletive. Can't hold Kyle Williams' jockstrap. Shut the bleep up and look in the mirror before you point any fingers. I think Dante Whitner summed it up best when he said, it's not the end of the world, but it sure feels like it right now. I remember getting in the car service with my family and nobody even speaking to each other on the entire ride home. I think it might have took us an hour and a half, two hours to get home that day because of traffic and nobody even made one sound. I mean, we were definitely a Super Bowl team. And we showed it all season long. But we get to this point and we just didn't finish. What if Kyle Williams didn't fumble twice against the Giants in that 2012 NFC title game? How would history have changed? Oh man, if Kyle doesn't fumble there, all right. So we go and we play the Patriots, we beat the Patriots first ring right there you know we're we're Super Bowl champions in San Francisco I think that the 49ers go on to win that football game we go to the Super Bowl and we start the beginning of a dynasty because we weren't supposed to be in a Super Bowl that year if you ask anybody around us or outside the organization it wasn't supposed to happen that fast so we go on and we taste that victory of that Super Bowl that year with the guys that we had being in their primes I believe that we could potentially go on to win three straight Super Bowls we would have strung together easily three to four. Maybe I, I don't want to be a LeBron right now and be talking about five, six, seven, but you know, we really had a possibility to string together a lot of championships. If not championships, more championship runs.